I've been getting a ton of questions on exactly how much sleep I get. So today I wanted to explain that and divide it up by all the rotations that I've been through and really talk about how much sleep I've been getting. So if you guys don't know, I've been wearing this Withings watch for a little less than two years. And um, I've talked about this watch before, but the reason why I like it so much is because it looks like a regular watch, but it actually tracks your activity throughout the day as well as your sleep at night. So I've sort of gathered all the data from the past two years or so and kind of graphed everything out so that I can visually look at how much sleep I've been getting. Um, and it's actually very interesting. So let's get started. The first graph here is um, the entire second year of uh, medical school. So you can see my average sleep is about seven and a half hours. And that's something that I've been preaching a lot. Like I try to get seven to eight hours of sleep. That's my goal in life pretty much. And you guys can see there's like a little bit of standard deviation, 1.6 hours. For the most part, my sleep range from, you know, between six and eight hours. So I would say that's pretty good. Really the nice thing about first two years of med school is your flexibility in terms of scheduling. So you get to kind of make your own schedule, listen to lectures on your own time and if you're really sleep deprived then you get to sleep in a little bit or you can go to sleep earlier and it doesn't really matter because you're not really technically required to be at school for the most part. So moving on to step one studying. If you guys don't know, step one is a board exam for um, people in medical school. Um, it's part one of three board exams that you have to take in order to become a licensed MD. You take step one after second year medical school, step two during your fourth year, and step three sometime during your residency first year. Um, so during step one studying, you can see my average was a little less than um, second year medical school. My average is 7.1 hours, but I have a narrower, I have a smaller standard deviation of 1.2 hours. So I didn't want to sacrifice any sleep during step one time because sleep is really important in learning and forming memory. So I wanted to keep it as regular and routine as possible. Moving on to third year of medical school when everything changes and you are actually required to be at the hospital almost every day. Um, so psychiatry was my first rotation and it looks like I didn't get that much sleep during psych. So I have 6.4 hours average and 1.2 standard deviation. I think the reason why I have a little less sleep in psychiatry, even though it's considered a uh, less rigorous rotation is because it was my first rotation of third year. So I was probably nervous and trying to get up early so I can look nice for the hospital and everything. So that's probably why I have a little less sleep um, than I should have for a psych rotation, I think. Um, also, it was summertime, so this is during July and August. So I was probably doing stuff at night with friends and still enjoying my summer. So I think that's why I have a little less sleep um, at 6.4 hours. Next rotation I had was P's rotation. And for that rotation, I remember my watch battery ran out and I just didn't have time to buy the new battery or I kept on forgetting so I don't have any data from Pete's rotation which sucks because Pete's I, I thought we had a lot of variability um, inpatient time, office time so I wanted to see what my sleep looked like but unfortunately I don't have that data. Next rotation I had is uh, OBGYN and you can see my average sleep was about 6.7 hours with two 0.0 standard deviations. You can see beginning with the rotation, I'm staying pretty much consistent, but then towards the end, there's a lot of ups and downs and a lot of dips, probably because I was spending a little more time um, studying. Um, some of these may have been like an error of my watch. It says two nights I got like two hours of sleep. That's probably not true. But I do remember being very tired during OBGYN um, and taking some naps. Um, so I think that threw off my sleep a little bit. The next rotation is family medicine. So for family medicine, it looks like I got a lot of sleep, average of 7.1 hours uh, with 1.5 hours of standard deviation. Um, and it looks like there's a clear pattern going on where beginning of the rotation, um, I have a very consistent sleep schedule. And then towards the end, it kind of dips up and down a lot. Um, also, family medicine, if you guys remember, is a month that I did my Vlogmas. So I think if I didn't do Vlogmas, I probably would have gotten a little more sleep. Um, but because I was doing filming and editing, trying to upload everything on time, I think I lost a little bit of sleep there. So next rotation is surgery. Um, there's a ton of ups and downs. So average hours of 6.4. Um, and 1.9 hours of standard deviation. Um, you guys can see there's a ton of ups and downs in surgery. That's because I think I was waking up at like 4.45 for most, or trying to get to the hospital by 4.45 
on most days on surgery, but there were like on weekends when I didn't have to go in, I would just sleep forever. Um, I really wanted to make up that sleep debt, whether that's real or not. So I think that's why there's so many ups and downs. I don't see that similar pattern of like sleeping consistently beginning of the rotation and then not sleeping as much towards the end because I think throughout um, I was just studying and trying to stay on top of things and waking up early. So I think that's why it's so erotic in this rotation. Next and finally, it's not completely done, but it's my internal medicine rotation. This rotation, I have the least amount of sleep so far. Um, I don't quite understand why because I go into the hospital a little later than surgery but it looks like I've been getting average of 6.2 hours and 1.7 hours of standard deviation. Um, it looks like there's also a lot of ups and downs in internal medicine. My guess for why the average is so low is because for internal medicine, I've been going into the hospital six days a week, whereas most of my other rotations, it's five days a week. So most, almost everything that I've done so far, I would only go in Monday through Friday um, and occasionally maybe a weekend shift. But for internal medicine, I've been consistently going in every Saturday as well. So I think that's why the average is a little low. There are definitely days when I have like a lot of sleep and I've taken a couple naps in internal medicine and the way the software works for my watch, it'll add in all the naps as like part of your sleep. So I think that's why I have all these like upward bumps in internal medicine. Those are my naps. So that's all the data I have so far on how much sleep I'm getting in med school. I'll try to do an updated video in the future when I'm done with med school. And I want to make two disclaimers before I end the video. Um, number one is that this watch measures sleep by how much you're moving in your sleep. So it kind of calculates it based on um, light sleep versus deep sleep. So it's not a perfect way to um, measure how much sleep you're getting, but I think over a long period of time, it gives you a relative idea of how much sleep you're getting. Um, Disclaimer number two is that this video is not really meant to show you how much sleep you would be getting in each of these rotations or specialties. Um, these are just my personal experience. Um, there's a lot of other personal stuff going on like vlogmas and how much I was going out or how much I was studying at night. So um, it's not really uh, an objective view of how much sleep um, you would be getting in these rotations or if you were to go into these these specialties. So with that, I'm gonna end the video here. If you guys have any questions about my watch or how much sleep I'm getting or any details, um, please let me know in the comment section and I'll try to answer them if I can. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.